So guys, this is another review, and this time it's possibly me, but actually I'm not gonna tell you about it yet. But it's the Viper Wolf Tack, and I haven't even used this. Um, yet, but, still, I have the eye tag right here, pretty nice picture actually, um, Steve Sully figure, with some articulation. But detailed oops though for some reason. But you should definitely pick this up. Oh my god. I do not like my camera right now. I'm really mad at it. See, it's all blurry. If I um oh god no. Here's the Viper Wolf figures. They have articulation. Head rotates. Legs move. And really that's about it. But I mean they're six legged, so what do you expect? Here's the box, um, a picture of the Viper Wolf figure, of course, and that guy right there. Um, he comes with a flame stick and a gun, but it doesn't really light up. Um, James Cameron's out top. Oh, same thing with the, um, sorry, I just can't lift up my arm, it hurts. James Hammond's avatar on this side. Comes with an eye tag and for some reason it's unassembled and it's highly articulated, a detailed movie replica. And there's the um um artwork, picture of Jake and C three Viper Wolves. So yeah, the artwork has Jake in, and it also shows the Viper Wolves, but the set only contains two of them. See, on the back it shows a picture of the figures, two dogs and a man. I don't know who looks angry. Too bad my camera doesn't lift up or down. But there's the human figures and some... Boring information about the eye tie tag. Um, James Cameron's avatar movie information. Information about the Viper Wolf. So. I mean, the box is pretty cool. It's not that big, though. Um. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Now, if you notice, ugh, screw the box, I'm just going to lay it down. She's swore in my review though, but 